Now then, what we could do is we could go over here to drag and drop mode and we could click on our project and just drag it down 14 seconds. The only problem with that is the titles don't move along with it. So, Z to undo that. What we're going to want to do in this case, I mean, if you just, if we, we could render this out and then paste it in as a new project and just drag and drop it however we needed to or we could just put the music in. Um, but what we want to do here, since we're working with this and we got to go with what we're wanting to work for, we're going to go back here, hit our shift key, go back up to about 14 seconds. And you know what? This starts two seconds in. So let's go to, let's, you know, give ourselves two seconds to match it up pretty good. There we go. We have selected that. We are going to edit. And we are going to paste silence. There. Now we start where we need to start. And since we didn't have these tracks selected, we're not starting where we don't want to start. So now we've got oh, 14 seconds or so to add bumps. Let's do those on another track. Let's add a video track. And let's work with that one. Okay. Now, you're going to want to time this along with your music. So let's have them together where we can work on them. Let's unselect the tracks that we're not working with. Select the tracks that we're working with, which is three and four. Go up here to tracks and move tracks up. Now let's extend this window so you can see exactly what we're doing. There we go. And let's tracks, move tracks up, tracks, move tracks up. There. Now we have got our titles and our music together. Let's get this back down so we have nice lovely access to everything we're doing. And you're going to want to time your bumps off of the music. So we know that right about here is where we have a hit. So let's select that. And attach an effect. Let's attach the title. And uh, I want this to be middle center. I don't need this 31 offset. Set that to zero. Drop shadow is going to be invisible because we're on a black background because there's nothing there. So let's do, hey. Now we go back here. And here's another big hit. So let's add an effect here. Title. This one shall say, how's it going? Apostrophe. Now we can go back here and preview what we're doing. And you notice that, I don't know if you can notice this because of the weird time delay, but if you, we click back here, sometimes the text isn't going to exactly sync, but you know, let's just start here at the hit, make sure, boom, yeah, there we go. And what about this one? We got, uh, okay, now we want to listen for the, and I think this is where it gives us what we want. Uh, nope, it was right here. There's where we want to start the new. Um, let's add an effect there. Titler. This one's going to say sit back and relax. We're getting close to where we need to stop this, so let's see. Move this back a little bit to resize it. And 
let's say attach effect title oops while Aiden goes nuts and see this is fading in underneath it so it's not affecting it because it's on another track so we go back we preview what we've done so you just want to kind of go off the beat <laughs> and I actually want to start this a little bit earlier so let's drag Oh, right about there looks good. And let's drag the inside, make it a little shorter because I don't really like that showing over the top. There we go. Preview it. All right, perfect. And then we just render the project and we're done. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that gets you doing some cool stuff with the Tidler. And uh, we'll do some more neat stuff. Probably by request. We got a request for some fast motion and slow motion. So we'll probably get to that. Uh, but, you know, get working. Uh, get some cool stuff out there. And let's see what you can do. See you next time. Hey, Dad. To let me take you home. Okay. I'm so proud.